ladies, and welcome to The Beauty Shaman, where truth and beauty meet. So we are heading into fall 2020, and um, we are looking at fall trend. So many of us are not thinking about fall trend. We're thinking about the elections coming up and all of the incredible hoopla and drama around this. Um, and I agree, there's a lot of hoopla and drama. <laughs> so uh, as an entertaining move away from that, let's talk about fall trend, okay? Um, so in the fall, one of the trends, um, I'm actually, I'm very excited about. I don't, I'm not excited about all the trends because a lot of them you just can't wear as an older woman. For example, one of the trends is, you know, very kind of full eyebrows. Eyebrows have really been in, really full, long hair, eyebrows, like, you know, not shortening the hair on your eyebrow and then combing them up and these kind of trends. You can't wear those <laughs> as an older woman because you just look like you've gone crazy, right? Like that really is a younger woman's look. So as an older woman, what what can I do with some of these fall trends? So what I did is I did some research and this is one of the trends that I'm going to talk about that we can do and show you how to do it. So the trend is... Um, the red lipstick. Now it's not the berry. It tend in the fall things tend to go more berry and plum and deeper, right? Um, but this fall, that's not the case. So this fall we're seeing, interestingly, um, red, but it's more like an orange red and it's pretty bright, which is kind of interesting. And I love that. I love bright red. I love bright colors. So I'm really happy with that. And the dark lips are being filled by the goth look. Now, I did goth in my mid-20s. I had black hair and straight bangs and all the way down. And I wore, you know, dark lipstick and dark eyeliner. And I was working for MAC at the time. So it was really fun. Uh, I cannot get away with that now. now many, some of you, maybe you like goth and you can get away with it. God bless you. Go for it. I am not that person. So we're going to talk about how to wear the, the dark red lip. But... One of the tweaks of this look is that you don't have hardly any other makeup on. So that doesn't work for older women. It tends to look really harsh. Um, our, we tend tends to age us if we just have one really strong color. So how do you wear a really strong lip color that's bright um, when the rest of your makeup is so minimal? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You can do it, you can get away with it. So let's get into that. Um, before we get started, uh, visit my website at thebeautyshaman.com and also hit the subscribe button and the bell um, in order to be alerted every time I upload a new video. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so what are you drinking as we get started? So I have my beverage. What is your beverage? So today I have water. Oh my God, I know, I just threw you off completely, right? I have water, I don't have tea. I always have tea, I'm a big tea drinker. Um, if you wanna tell me your favorite tea, I'd love to hear stuff like that. I'm really a fan of tea, but today it is water. Okay, so to do this look, obviously you need foundation. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of hydration here. I'm gonna do a little bit of... Um, the Truth Trifecta, I'm gonna do two drops of the C Serum, two sprays of the Biomimetic Mist, and two pops here of the um, Hyaluronic Mineral Hydrator. And this just helps to plump up my skin. And I love that look. I love my skin looking really healthy and really plumped um, because skin is really the focus on this kind of a look. You need to have your skin in really good shape which means um, your health needs to be, you know, really taking your nutritional supplements. I talk a ton about this kind of thing. Skin is the largest organ in your body. You can't just deal with it externally. You need to deal with it internally as well. Um, so, but externally, you know, use great skincare. I use truth treatments. I love that skincare. I do sell it on my website. Go, go to my website for 10% off. It's the code is SB10. Um, so I just put this on and look at my skin. My skin gets super happy when I use this. It just, it loves it so much. We're also going to do, um, a mixture. So we're going to do my primer, which is my Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Primer. And we're going to blend it with the Jane Iredale Liquid Minerals Foundation. So this is a light to medium coverage foundation, but we're going for, um, more of a sheer foundation look. And this is pretty sheer, but we're going to sheer it out even more. So I'm going to do one pump. And it's little balls of granules that you break as you blend it together. And I'm going to add about the same amount of primer. So I'm going to go 50-50 here. And then I'm going to blend it in together. You have to blend it in really nicely before you put it on. You can do the primer first and then the foundation if you want, but you're not going to get as sheer of a look as to what I'm doing here. So really blend that in. 
spend time on this. Otherwise, it'll irritate you a little bit. Like, eh, why doesn't it look good? So there we go. We're going to blend that in. And then I'm going to use my hands, and I'm just going to apply it. So it makes it have a lot of slip, right? Because you are you don't have as much pigment in the foundation. Okay, so my skin is really hydrated. It has um, really sheer foundation on, mixing it with the primer. And now I'm going to touch, you know, I always have kind of puffiness under my eyes. It's just kind of a continuous thing for me. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of Amazing Concealer. Really love this concealer. This is kind of my new fave. Um, not new. I've actually been using it a long time in my kit, but I haven't done it so much on my sh my YouTube channel. So I'm just going to take this and pop it a little bit in here. My skin is super dewy. I am going to powder this a bit to take some of that dewiness down. But the look is very dewy for your skin. If you have oily light eyelids, don't put this on your lid. I do not. So because I have a lot of discoloration on my eyelid, I put it all the way across. But if you don't and you don't want to, don't do it. So see, that just kind of took out. Isn't that great? And I put a little here too, just to break up my nose. Otherwise, I've got a darker nose and lighter here and it looks a little funny. Okay, so I have my concealer on, my foundation, my primer, my concealer. I'm gonna do a little bit of powder just to take down. It's super glowy, right? Because I've used um, my truth treatments. I've used my <laughs> foundation with primer. I mean, super, super glowy. So I'm gonna use just a little bit. This is a Dior powder with a tiny bit of rose in it with my Moda brush. I'm just going to dust this lightly over the top. I'm going to do lipstick first because what we're what we're working with is a really strong lip color and what to do with everything else, okay? So I'm going to start off. I'm going to use a nice kind of a corally. Now, excuse how mucky this looks, um, but this color right here. So it's kind of a, um, a reddish, orangey color, which is very coming really in, okay? I don't know what it is, I'll look it up and I'll put it down below, but it's bright. So we're gonna start with this, which I do think many of you can wear. It's kind of a bright coral. So I love that color, I think it's a super pretty color. Um, most of you can wear corals. Um, Coral is actually just one of those colors that everybody can kind of wear. So I'm going to use a lip pencil with it. This is by um, Lip Bar, which is a friend of mine here in Denver has this. I'll give you the link. And I'm going to, this is slightly darker than my lipstick. I'm going to blend it in really, really well. And I'm using lip liner second because it gives a softer look. So that is a beautiful color and it really pops, which is what this look is meant to look like. Um, but what it does is it makes me look really washed out, right, for the rest of my skin. So I am gonna take um, my contour and I'm gonna make my contour not a brown, but more of a peachy tone. Um, and what that does is it just helps to warm up my complexion. If you go with too much um, like one shade darker, which is what you're supposed to do with contour. Um, I think what you'll find is that you just look, it makes you look even more dead, right? So we're going to take this color right here, which is called Painterly. Okay, this is called Painterly. I couldn't see it. I had to like <laughs> pull it way back. But see, it's a nice kind of plum, not plum, coral, peachy coral. We're going to stay in these tones. And I'm going to use my con little bit of a contour brush. Oh, I didn't cover my age spot. Oh, well, I'll just leave that. It really doesn't bother me. It's like it's, you know, some of you, some of you are really bothered by age spots. I'm totally not. I'm just going to go under my cheek a little above, pull it down here, and just try to really blend that in. So I'm getting, I'm losing my flat look because of foundation. And I've added color. Isn't that nice? And just work with that to get it to have that lovely, you've got some shape, but without um, having lines, right? So it's super well blended. Then I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to use a bright kind of peachy, orangey blush. I'm actually going to use this color right here. I don't know what this is. I'll have to look it up. Fill my brush with that and I'm going to go right on my cheek. 
So I'm still doing like a really neutral, natural look, but I'm giving it color. And I think whenever you're getting into these looks that are just focused on one part of the face, as an older woman to kind of work with that, you just want to warm everything up so that it doesn't look harsh. And I think that looks really pretty. I'm super happy with that. Now, typically on this look, you're not meant to do a whole heck of a lot on your eyes. So um, I'm going to do a little bit on my eyebrow because if you don't have any eyebrows, you got to fill them in just a bit. I actually have pretty good eyebrows here. So I'm going to fill them in with a little bit of shadow and my slanted disco brush here by Moda. And I'm just going to extend it a little bit. Just bring it out. And that just pulls, brightens up my whole eye area, I think, just to pull that out just a little bit. So just adds a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to work on my eyes. Now I'm going to do a very, very neutral eye look just because that's the look. But if I, I could just put mascara and go. But I'm not going to do just mascara and leave. I'm going to add a little bit of dimension here. So what I'm going to do is take my crease brush. So I've got a nice little crease brush here. This is a goat hair. So I'm going to take this color here. This is called Sincere. So again, we're staying in the neutral. It's got a little bit more pop to it than the contour color. And I'm going to take this color and I'm going to put it in my crease. Putting a special attention on right here, on moving it up because we're going to lift our lids. See that? So I don't wing it. Winging actually pulls your eyes this direction, which works on some of you if you have very almond eyes. But for those of us who have a little bit of a heavier lid, this is a great strategy. Let's see what that did. So I'm just using a really soft neutral color, but it's got peach in it, which is really working well with that lip. So I love that. Now I'm also going to do, a, just add a little bit of shimmer because I like shimmer. I'm a shimmer girl. So this is really broken apart, but this is a Chanel um, creamy eyeshadow called Convoitoire. I believe that's how you say it. If you're French, I mean, can you do it phonetically down there if you know? Um, but I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to dip my finger into this totally broken apart thing. I've, bro I've dropped it is why it's breasted, okay? And I'm putting it on my finger, see that? And I'm gonna put it right on my lid. Look at that, ooh, isn't that pretty? Little bit of fairy dust right there because we need a little fairy dust sometimes. Really, really pretty. Not a ton. And you don't wanna put it where it's gonna sit in fine lines because this will sit in fine lines a little bit. So, you know, right on the eyelid tends to work fine. And you use your finger just to get a lighter application. Isn't that pretty? So I've got a little bit of shimmer. I've got my crease color that's going north, lifting everything north. Boobs go north, everything goes north. <laughs> and I'm gonna use a rich, warm brown eye pencil here. This is by MAC, it's called Brown Border. Um, this is Technicolor um, Kajal Pencil, which is um, water repellent. So I'm gonna take this. And I'm gonna go right in my waterline that's underneath my lashes. So I do pull my eye a little bit. Just helps me see. I don't think it does too many damaging things to me to do this, but otherwise I can't see what I'm doing, sorry. Now I've taken this liner and I've gone all the way down to my uh, tear duct there. And that accentuates it even more. So see, I'm putting very little on, but you're getting an impact, which is kind of the idea. You could also take this and just put it between your lashes on the outer edge. So you're getting a little bit of lift on that outer edge. See that? Then you can take your slanted brush with my Moda Disco brush here. And I'm gonna run, just run that over the top so that it's not such a line. If you get older, you really wanna avoid anything that looks too lined. So it's giving my eyes a little bit of lift. Now I don't have anything underneath. If that bothers you, you wanna put a little bit underneath. I would just go between your lashes. I wouldn't go in the waterline for the most part. I think most of us, that's a kind of a hard look um, because it pulls our eyes down if we go in the waterline underneath. Not all of you, but I think I'm kind of speaking generally here. 
So see, I've given my eyes some shape. I've put some eyeliner, but it's not really noticeable. Okay, let's do a little mascara. Okay, so I've gone back and I touched up under my eyes just a little bit off camera um, because I was noticing I didn't really do enough highlight there. So I did a little tiny bit more highlight, just to be honest here. Um, and I pumped up my blush a bit. So the, the rest of my face is very neutral, but it has enough color where I have shape. And that's how you can wear really strong, bright colors like this in the fall. Because normally we're gonna be wearing dark colors like black or maybe rich browns or plums or that sort of thing. So wearing a coral like this, you wouldn't put plum with coral, maybe if you're eccentric but that's how you would wear this with your makeup um, is to add these other color tones to it and of course a little bit of frost just because stuck on it I love a little glitter a little glamour why not but you're still doing the look which is everything's very plain and all the attention is on your lips so I hope this has been helpful give this look a go and let me know what you think of it if you feel like this is applicable for older women or kind of what your take is on wearing this strong of color um, I think some of you can totally wear it and look incredible so I'd love to hear from you um, have a great day I hope you all are doing really really well and thanks for watching